What up, chooms? Grab your eddies, call your joy toys, because we're going to do a mic review of Cyberpunk 2077. Before we get started on this little review, uh, I'm going to say I've been playing the PC version. I know like the, the last gen console versions like PS4 and Xbox have not been doing well, especially PS4 is what it sounds like. Uh, CD Projekt Red even issued uh, a statement, I believe, just this morning saying that they will be issuing uh, a refund um, if hey. if somebody doesn't want to wait for updates. They did say, hey, we're going to be updating it. There's going to be major updates in March and February that will make this game way better and way playable. Um, and they apologized for the, the poor last-gen console releases, but it sounds like new-gen consoles like the PS5 and the Series X and PC are doing really great. And I will post my PC specs down in the com not the comments, but the uh, description below, so you can guys see what I'm playing the game on. Uh, first of all, I want to say thanks to my buddy Andy. He not only got me a graphics card, and he bought me this game. Um, I'm so very grateful for my very generous friend um, for giving me this experience. I've put about 40 hours into this game so far, and I am absolutely in love with the lore and the world of uh, Night City. The city itself just seems so absolutely alive and real, and it's it's really, really awesome. There's so many different cultures in the mix, too, so many different gangs you can interact with. I love the uh, I love the way they did like the word bubbles and subtitles above uh, characters' heads. Whether it's at night or during the day, uh, the city just feels real, and that's what I, I'm really enjoying about this game. Sometimes I just like to walk through the city. Instead of using the fast travel or a vehicle of some kind, just walk. Just walk, and it's great. The gameplay, I, everything about the game is is pretty darn awesome. Some of the things I'm going to complain about that I don't like about the that I don't like about the game, uh, they could be stuff that I maybe I just haven't unlocked yet, or I just haven't discovered yet. So if that's the case, feel free to play me in the comments below. Uh, but I think it's really weird for a game that emphasizes like you can change who you are, you can become anything, blah blah blah. That they don't have a place to go change your hair or get new tattoos or change your tattoos or different things like that. You can obviously change all your cybernetics and stuff and that makes you look a little bit different. You can change all your clothes. Um, you can't you can, you can customize the clothes with mods and stuff, but you can't customize the way the clothes look, at least not yet, as far as I've seen. Uh, but I'm really shocked that there's not like a place to go get your haircut. Speaking of haircuts, it seems really pointless that they let you customize your genitals at all because the only time you ever see them uh, is when you're switching clothes um, and it's, it's honestly a little bit of a distraction. When I first booted up the game, I was planning on streaming it, so I had the nudity filter turned off. So when I created my character, it didn't let me customize my junk. So now when I switch clothes, I just look like a Ken doll. Um, and you can take off your pants and in the menu, you can see like your junk and everything. But if you go out into the real, if you go out into the game world and then you look down at yourself, you're wearing boxers. And then some of the sex scenes in the game, it's pretty much just like softcore porn. So you don't see any genitalia at all. Um, obviously you see like a woman's chest and stuff, but that's about it. Uh, so I don't even really know why they even bothered with that. Like if they're not gonna like let you use and see it in game, like well, what's the point of being able to customize your genitals? Like if you're only gonna see it in, in the menu screen when you're, when you're changing your clothes. I think that is pretty pointless. Um, unless, unless they change, unless they change something with the game, I think, I don't know. I, I feel like customizing your general, like it was a cool idea and I was, I was thinking, oh man, it's gonna be so cool. But then it's, it's just like, man, if you don't get to use them and you don't get to see them like when you're, you're banging some joy toys or something, what, what's the point? It's pretty gone. One of the other things I'm surprised you can't customize is your vehicle. They do, there's, I probably have about 20 or 40 options right now to go buy different cars from different fixers. Um, but I haven't seen any customization stuff yet. You can't change the interior, you can't change the outside of the car, or anything like that. And, and that's really surprising and also disappointing for a game that really emphasizes customization uh, level of your characters in the world. Like, I'm a big Fallout fan, and I know, like, you can't go to every single door in the entire world and be able to open it and be able to go inside said building or whatever, right? Like, there's just not, there's, you just probably couldn't make a game like that. Um, with Cyberpunk, I feel like it's a little bit different. There's a lot of doors, like, that have, 
that have like really big neon open signs and like really inviting. They're saying, hey, come to this place, come to this place, right? And you go in there and the door either just doesn't have a, an action or it's locked. Glitches don't bother me that much. A lot of times they're really funny, especially when you have just like floating guns or floating cigarettes uh, just in the air with no characters attached to them. Uh, the one glitch that really bugs me is it's sometimes it's really hard to just pick up items like off the floor after you've uh, you know mantis murdered somebody or or what or just an item sitting somewhere also sometimes when you grab items like the stuff around it will just explode and that's alerted guards and stuff to my presence which also really irritated me i think that's going to do it for this micro review i hope that i've edited it well enough i hope you enjoyed it um if you're on pc or a next-gen console i would highly suggest uh cyberpunk like especially if you like open world rpgs like fallout um or like the the witcher that type of thing it's such a fun game i like i am absolutely obsessed with it at this point and i i, I need to go play some more of it I, I need to edit this video first and then i'm gonna go play more cyberpunk before i go to work because cyberpunk don't be a gonk please subscribe to my channel Please comment down below what uh, you think of Cyberpunk so far yourself, and I'll see you guys. And remember, remember, always be kind to each other. I'll see you guys in the next video. Logical high five.